We know that boys respond to their teacher. We know that what happens in that classroom and the relationship and the rapport that's built between teachers and their students has a significant impact on the ability of students to learn, on the willingness of students to learn and engagement in general. Here at Knox we are committed to being a leading educator and that means staying on top of current research and supporting our teachers to do that so that we know what makes a difference in the lives of our children to ensure that they get the best quality education. We have a mantra that our teachers need to know their students' stories and knowing their stories mean they understand the skills and knowledge of their students and they're able to support them to grow and achieve their best. I think because we have so many options for the boys, there is always something that they are passionate about and they can follow that passion all throughout their schooling at Knox. In 20 years, these boys are going to go into the workforce where jobs don't exist yet and we have to prepare them for that reality. So giving them the skills to problem solve, giving them the technology skills that they need in order to thrive in those societies and in those jobs is going to be crucial. So collaborating with other people, working as a team, taking someone's design and improving it, that's a huge skill. It's something that they have to be scaffolded through and the more they practice it, the more they develop it, the greater chance they have of thriving in the future workplace. A couple of our action research projects have targeted skills, what it is to be a scientist rather than content based. And what we found in the last couple of years is that our boys are much more prepared for year 11 because we started them in that journey in year 7 and 8. I want them to be inquisitive and we can only do that by instilling in them that idea that they should be asking questions and using the skills we teach them in science to make valid decisions about their lives. I always tell my own children that if you don't love something, you need to go and find something that you love. And I love teaching science. In our Knox staff, we see that sort of passion regularly. I see it in the classrooms that I visit and the lessons that I observe. There's a real richness of discussion uh, amongst the teachers about the subjects that they teach. There's a love and passion for the disciplines that they teach. You can hear it in the staff rooms uh, and in their conversations in their research and learning teams as well. There's lots of opportunities to reflect on our professional practice. We do that through staff meetings and working collaboratively. Working with a group of colleagues with a common goal and having those professional conversations on fortnightly basis means that you're all speaking the same language. We're identifying what we need to target and how we're going to target it. So it matters on a really deep level that we get this right, that our teachers bring not only a deep knowledge of content that they can convey, that they can deconstruct this knowledge for their students, but also that they're seen to be passionate, that they want to be in the classroom with the students, and that they really want to help those kids learn. Our mantra is that we know our teachers' stories and our students' stories. Quality teaching really is what it boils down to. Student outcomes both academically and in terms of the rest of their lives.